EWG's research on pesticides has always been about letting people know what they can be exposed to through the foods that they're eating. When I first heard my colleagues tell me they found chlormaquat in the foods that they had tested, I said, what's chlormaquat? Chlormaquat is a new chemical in the U.S. food supply. It is used primarily on grain crops like oats and wheat. Once we learned that the EPA had essentially started allowing chlormaquat on oat-based products that were being imported into the U.S., we decided to test them. And when we tested those products, we found chlormaquat in over 90% of those samples. That was samples like cereals, breakfast bars, snack bars, really common foods that people are eating every day. EWG's toxicologists looked at the chemistry of this particular chemical and were alarmed. Chlormaquat causes really concerning health effects in animal studies. It harms the reproductive system and it can disrupt fetal growth. And that gives us concern for how this chemical might also impact human health. Once we knew it was really prevalent in the food supply, the next question was, well, can you measure it in people? This is the first study of chlormaquat exposure in the U.S. population. Our study is published in the peer-reviewed journal called Journal of Exposure Science and Environmental Epidemiology. We tested the urine of about 96 different people. I mean, we expected to find a little bit of chlormaquat or maybe some people would have detections, but the fact that four out of five, 77 of the 96 people, had exposure to chlormaquat was really astonishing, especially because this is a pretty new chemical to Americans. The average American probably believes that the EPA is solely in the business of protecting them and their families from contaminants, including pesticides in the foods. But the opposite is actually true. We need the EPA to protect children's health and use the best available science and data to do that.